Hello guys, I know I haven't posted in a while because like my last videos were like um, a couple of months ago most likely, probably all the way back in the summer. But now is because I had school and stuff. And when I have school and stuff, I can't post a video and most of the time I don't know what to post a video about. And when I don't know how to, what to post a video about, like, what's the point of posting a video? It will be like a video about you just talking. Like, I don't know. And, like, I finally for, forgot that I was going to do a video on, um, you know, my, my dog. Come here. She, let me first of all... There, I have to, she had a rock in her mouth and we don't want her with a rock in her mouth. So like, here is my Rottweiler. She is an American Rottweiler. She is not a German Rottweiler. Roxy, no. No, she had a different rock, never mind. There. I'll just put these right here. Rexy, come. Sit. Rexy, sit. Good girl. It is that the problem is that it's hard to get her facing the camera. And she is still a puppy, so she will bite. Roxy, Roxy, just that the problem is that I, most of the time I have to be in front of her. No, she also likes pulling weeds. She is our weed puller. Roxy, sit, sit, stay. Sit. Shit, just that sometimes she forgets how to sit and stay. We've got her to do it. Sometimes she just doesn't want to stay. So, like, here is my Rottweiler. She's an American Rot. Like, again, like, she isn't a German Rot. Um, as you know, there is two species of Rottweilers. There is the... I think there's three. I think there's the Roman Rottweiler, the German Rottweiler, and the American Rottweiler. Okay, so like, German Rottweilers, um, if I remember correctly, they have a shorter snout or a longer snout. But with the Roman Rottweilers, I think that's what their name is, but they might be different. So, I don't know the difference between them um, and the German or the other kinds of Rottweilers. <laughs> because, like, I haven't seen one, and plus I haven't seen a German Rot. It's just that I know that because I just did research on them. Rexy. And she is still a puppy, so if you ever had a puppy before, you know they bite and chew on things. Like right now. Roxy. I might have to bring her toy, toy for a second. Can you pause the video for a second? She also might. So... I had to go get one of her toys because she kept on trying to chew on things. And also, sometimes puppies will get the hiccups. And she has the hiccups right now. So if you hear her go like, ha, ha, like she, like she just did, just, well, you probably can only hear me because the wind, you know? And let go.
Is that the problem? Is that Moxie? Leave it. There. That's what you do. They got something out of her mouth. You at least try to distract her with another toy. And then you probably give her another toy or else she'll search for the thing that she had in her mouth. Rexy. Get it? This dog has the second strongest bite force. So like, these are the four, this is I think the top four. Um, I th if So oh, we'll go from the the least, um, the, the kind of strongest, but the least strongest of the strongest bite force to the strongest bite force. So, okay, so, like, it's Doberman Pinscher. Those dogs, it's just that we didn't get one of those because we didn't get, um, Roxy, we want you to be on camera. Um, like, see, she has, she is a weed puller. Let's get that. There. And she just looks for another weed. So it is the Doberman. They have pointed ears. They're not like her that has some of these ears, like that. She isn't like... They aren't like that. They have pointed ears. Most of the time they do, but but there's one Doberman that I've seen doesn't have ears like that. I think there's a couple of just that I haven't seen them. Roxy, wait just for one second. You ready, Roxy? Get it! Oh, sometimes she gets confused, confused because it gets through her legs. Okay, here we go. So, again, back to the Doberman. So. There is still a couple Dobermans that have ears like hers, but most uh, Dobermans, most of them have pointed ears. I have seen it before. Most of the time I do. And, like... So, like, we didn't get this breed for its bite force. We, she's eating grass, just don't worry about it. Um, sometimes grass, if they have like a tummy ache or something, sometimes it'll help. And she probably doesn't have a tummy ache, but you just gotta make sure she doesn't eat too much. And she, most of the time she doesn't eat too much. Roxy, no, no. She, she's trying to jump. She's either trying to get the phone or just jumping. Just, okay, so the Doberman, it's still a protection breed. It still can protect you. It still can protect you well. But, um, but still, it's... It's still a good breed, but let's go on to the health issues of the Doberman. So, the health issues with it is, like, it has a very skinny head. So, sometimes it can't fit its brain in its head, and then most of the time it'll, and then it'll have a health issue, and then go, you know, you know, like, you know, just go die. Uh, most of the time that will happen with health issues. Unless if it's like an issue with their like eyes or their ear. Um, you Most of the time you can cure it but yeah like but Dobermans I don't think they have issues like that. It's very rare for a dog to have an issue like that. So the Doberman Pinscher, it still has a pretty strong bite force. It is one of those medium, medium-sized dogs. Like, um, there also is a miniature Pinscher, like that big. I've seen them, but but most Dobermans, they're like 
in the range of medium large, which is what the Rottweilers are in. And this puppy right here, she's a female because we wanted a protection dog. And um, of course, I didn't actually get the dog. <laughs> My dad got it, and he says females are more protective than the males. So, yeah, and back to the... Okay, so, like, we're done with the Doberman now, and then um, we're in our number three spot, which has the pit bull. As you know, you probably have heard of the pit bull before um pit bulls are a fighting breed so you got to be you got to make sure you socialize them really good because otherwise you know their fighting instincts will kick in and then the other dog might go to poop and then like you just got to be very careful with pit bulls because they it's okay there you go um pit bulls they they're very unpredictable because like they're a fighting breed and they're even banned in several places um because like the reputation but pit bulls they have a pretty strong bite force for a medium, it's technically like a medium small breed, like like a boxer or something like that. It has a pretty strong bite for a dog like that. And like, you know, they're the third spot. And like, the thing that's even worse about pit bulls is they'll bite and hang on. But most of the time, pit bulls aren't a very good guard dog. Most of the time. Because, um, most of the time they're even friendly with strangers. So they, they aren't a very good protection dog. What do you have there? Okay. So. Maxie, ready? Go get it. Go get it. She'll do it on her own. So, with the pit bull, like, they're kind of a small breed. They're just creeping up on the medium, but most of the time they're just um small medium sized dog rottweilers they're a large medium and then next at number two we have this little girl the rottweiler um um like they have the second strongest bite force but they're a medium to large sized dog and they are still they aren't really I think they're still popular, but I'm not sure about it. And, like, um, this, okay, I guess I'll go like this. So, like, so with the Rottweiler, they are still a protection breed. They, if I remember correctly, they're, they're also a herding dog. Because, um, like, they do herd cattle, and I think at one point they even, like, pulled stuff, um, from people to get to place, to place, but now horses do that, and now they don't even do that at all, because technology now bring us to cars now. So, yeah. So now they're, they're, they rarely can do that. So... Like, now they are just sometimes a herding dog, and now they're probably turning into police dogs, but now German Shepherds have taken the police dog. Come here. No. Just trying to get 
gets something in her mouth. She hasn't did yet, but as you can see, she's trying to dig to get a hold of something. She's just trying. Oh. Stop it. And of course she got it. Hang on for a minute. First, now you gotta play a game of catch the dog. Grab her. Most of the time she'll growl, but most of the time you just have to distract her with another toy. <sighs> Actually, leave it. Yeah. Sometimes she's too quick. It's a bouncy ball. No. Sometimes I just have to get her attention and she'll do it. It's just that I don't like her having stuff in her mouth because she might swallow it. Wait for a second. Apparently whenever apparently whenever we least expected it, she always drops it. Whenever we least expected it. She always drops it, so. Now she dropped it, so back to the Rottweilers, so. The breed is the police dog, kind of, right now. But now they're turning into more of a herding dog and a working breed. They are all working breeds. They're happy with a job to do. They are pretty happy with a job to do. Otherwise, they'll get bored, and these dogs, they're kind of, they... Sometimes they have separation anxiety, so, you know, you got to be careful to make sure they don't destroy things when you leave them in the house. See, she likes to pull weeds for us. So, so. and I think that's about it for the Rottweiler, and at the number one spot... Um, we have the Turkish Kangle. You probably have never heard of it because most people have probably heard of the Doberman, the Pitbull, and maybe some people have heard of the Rottweiler, but kind of not many. But the Kangle is kind of a newer dog, and it has the highest bite force of any dog, so you got to be very careful with the Kangles. Roxy. Sit. Okay. There, you can. Uh, just that she tried to jump on us a little bit, and we don't really like her jumping on us because she is a female, so. And, okay, back to the Turkish Kangle. So, Turkish Kangle is a large breed dog, and. They are pretty much a herding dog. They're used to protect cattle. Um, she has something in her mouth, so I think I could get it out. There, got it. Now she lost it. Okay, so with the Kangle, they are mostly a herding dog. They're used to um, guard livestock, cows, horses, and whatnot from bears and wolves and maybe coyotes but in their range most of the time they they just protect from bears and they got to protect their livestock from bears and stuff and that's about it it's just that they're a newer breed, and I don't really know that much about the Turkish Kangle. And, oh, oh, of course, they're bite force, so. They, it's just that some, um, I probably have to look more into the bite force, but it isn't, ah. Uh, it's just that it's hard to estimate a bite force of a dog. Sometimes um, 
the dog sometimes like they don't most of the time people don't want to get the dog into mad mode you know because with um because when they're in mad mode no uh, i'm saying like not stressing the dog out and getting it super mad so most of the time people just like like to play a game of tug of war with the dog with something that can estimate their bite force and most of the time, they don't get the actual bite force if the dog were to actually bite you hard, hard. So, it's a very, so if you got a dog into mad mode, like a Rottweiler, Roxy, no. Hang on for a minute, I have to go try to get Roxy. Ah, I got you. So now I'm going to teach you about Roxy and what she eats and stuff. So let's start with what she eats. There'll probably be like a thing at the bottom of what she eats. Uh, there'll probably be um, like a category like right here and I'll say like what my Rottweiler puppy eats or something like that so she eats Nutrisource large breed puppy so, it's, it's not just a Nutrisource large breed puppy it's chicken and rice formula so it has chicken and rice in it we like to Make her eat what the breeder is currently feeding her because because if you feed her something different, maybe she's going to be like, what is this? I haven't eaten it before. So that's why um, we, we like to feed her what the breeder used to feed her. Stop it, puppy. Stop. Like we're gonna we're gonna eventually get that out of her mouth. When we So with the Roddy Um with her um basically like so I can show you. And her potty pad, um, most of the time, if she really, really needs to go to the bathroom and she's in here, she will pee on that. It's just that sometimes she misses and then, you know, and, you know, so. Sometimes she won't listen, like, like right now. Roxy. Off. And she is still a puppy, so she will bite you if she wants to. Leave it. Okay, guys, so that's about it. That probably wraps it up. So, guys, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, Ring the bell. And... Uh, bye guys.